So in this episode, we are going to install the Laravel for our project for our blog series and also going to have some assets we need for this project. And before getting started, I want to say a big, big thank you for each of you who are very excited about this series and me too. I am very excited about this series also because this is our first big project we are doing together and we will have lots of fun here and I am glad that I am getting these kind of comment lists. So you can see how many comments here it is. So there are many comments I am getting on the Facebook page and lots of comment even on the YouTube. So you can see these are the comments for one video only, the one introduction video of this blog series. I am getting many many comments and the messages for this series and I am very much excited about. So again a very big thank you for every one of you. So let's get started and let's see how we can install Laravel and we can install the our assets and set up our project. So let's firstly get started and open the terminal. So I will simply say Laravel new blog. This will get the Laravel 5.4 version not the 5.5 because it's not released yet but we can use 5.5 also because it's a dev version. Someone has told me about this Laravel 5.5. Yeah, he is the one who suggests me to use the 5.5 but uh, I will use but because it's in the dev version it may have some bugs so we will wait for the level 5.5 when it will released then we will upgrade our project to 5.5 till then let's use the 5.4 and we have this level new blog so hit enter while it's downloading the level let's install or download the assets we need so simply we need bootstrap block template so let's start this one and I want to use this one so preview download so let's download this one and yes it's downloading here so while it's downloading let's call the admin LTE so admin LTE we need and this one will be the second link while it's installing let's see how about the level yeah it's installed here we have this one and let's download admin LTE also so okay it will download let's let's open this in our sublime so blog in the sublime so we have this project here but inside blog let's create a folder called raw files so we will get the raw files here so I have installed that blog here so blog template is here and it's downloading the admin LT you can see it's downloading here okay so let's see yeah here it is but I want to extract it first and delete this one call it blog simple oops we can do that call it uh, uh, clean blog yeah this is very nice and move this inside this raw file so here it is and now it's also downloaded so let's move this out here oops where it is move this out extract this and I will call it admin simple delete this one we don't need this now copy raw files and I will doing this because I want to have only one folder for everything so that when I when I push these thing on github you will only get the one blog folder everything will be inside here so these are the things so that's very nice so we have this so let's open our sublime project is here now let's see how our blog is looking like so raw files clean blog index.php where it is yeah here it is so here it is and we are going to use this in our Laravel project so let's see how we can extract these HTML part in our Laravel so we have to go to sublime and in the raw files clean blog we will have this index.html let's first copy everything from here close this 
close this close this and if you are new to Laravel this is the resources folder where you will get the views folder where you will get every view view means the HTML part which everyone can see so here we are going to use this so instead of this welcome dot blade I will delete everything and paste our data here so we have this thing so that means we have to go to our terminal to start the server so let's start the server so php artisan serve oh serve yeah so now the server is started so let's call the local host and yes because we don't have any css file here so let's call the css file so now we have every CSS file in the raw but we want every CSS file to be inside this public folder and we have this CSS and JS so what I will do I will first delete these CSS and JS folder because we have two different section one for the user one for the admin so I will just say one folder called admin so every assets the CSS file the JS or everything related to admin will be inside this admin folder and other is user so everything related to user is inside the user folder we are creating the user part so we will going to get the CSS which is here inside this user folder so let's copy this folder from here paste it inside the user folder similarly we don't have yeah we have this image image folder actually we have to copy everything but let's do it one by one so we have this thing now let's see refresh but we can't see anything this is because we are giving this directly vendor bootstrap so our level works something different so whenever you are having view in the view when you have to link any file which is inside the public folder what you can do you can get everything inside uh, curly braces inside parentheses inside quotes and firstly you have to type asset and here because this is all inside the user folder so I will say user slash everything so it's look like we don't have vendor folder so I told you I have, we have to <laughs> copy everything so copy vendor folder from here inside user paste it here okay so vendor we have similarly we need to say for this one and parenthesis quotes asset and user so one more time so this will be here asset user okay I think we don't have anything let's check on the footer part oh yeah we have these jQueries type things the JS so now it's time for the JS so we have CSS image vendor but go to raw and copy the whole JS and paste it here inside user so vendor we have JS we have now everything we have we just have to do one thing so let's do it in a cool way so let's select this source press ctrl D D D and D so we are here now press shift ctrl right arrow then release the control click on the alt that means now I have shift alt pressed and the left arrow and release alt then the left arrow again and again and again and one more time yes we have selected everything now shift and curly braces shift and nine for the parenthesis and this single quotes go left left asset right right user slash you can see how interesting these things with the sublime so now everything we have connected to our project let's go here refresh this page and uh, oops it's saying something which is the blog blog resources views welcome dot play dot ph ah asset something is prob having problem 
we are using somewhere asset only yeah <laughs> so okay so it will be asset okay refresh and yes we have these things here but it's not having that image here so let's view the source so we have everything let's see yeah this is working oh yeah here here it is the background image this is this one we have missed out where it is background image so let's search for background yeah simple here so here we have to again give the url that means again same thing this will be asset user slash let's see refresh and here it is okay but what about here yes now you can see it's the same thing but everything on level so let's do one thing more so you can see we have this footer part we have this header part and this this banner part also we can move everything in separate files so that our welcome.blade.php will look cleaner so what i will do i will cut or even i will move these things which are inside the head i will cut everything from here go to resources folder views we have create a new folder called user again just like we have on the public we are going to have a folder which includes every blade file related to user so let's call it uh, firstly a uh, layout so it will be layout o u t s layouts so that means inside user we have a layouts folder inside layout we have a firstly head dot blade dot php file and we will paste everything here so now what i have we have to do we have to include this uh, layout file here so what I will do just say include in include I will say the path so it is user layouts slash head but not blade dot php level take care of everything because he know if you are including a view it should it must have the blade syntax so let's go refresh the page and you can see there's no change because everything is working correctly our header part is connected exactly we want so same thing for footer so we have these scripts and the footer part is here so everything move it from here open a new file called footer.blade.php paste it here refresh and again include and we know this time user slash layout slash footer and no blade thing go refresh page and yes everything is on the place nothing is incorrect okay so this thing uh, left which is called the nav bar so let's go on the top and you see it's starting navigation and it's ending navigation where it's okay so here till here we have the header so let's copy everything cut it out create a file again called header.blade.php save this paste it here call this include and user layout header if you are wondering how sublime is suggesting me the path and the folder and a file you can check out the sublime series i have so this is because of the package i have installed so you can install that package also uh, i don't remember the name but i will tell you in the next episode sure okay so here it is let's go refresh the page and we have everything here that means everything is working absolutely fine so this is the main part so when i hit here because we don't have any route for this it's not working but we can see here no, here we can see on the live project whenever we click on this we will land on this one so this is the whole blog and and we will include many features here as the important one is the like so 
I am getting many requests for the like so we will see how we can use these things so we will meet in the next episode on that we will do something else I don't know what we are going to do because everything I am doing with you all I am not prepared anything so maybe we will talk about the table structure of the block series we are going to use and let's see what we are having on the next episode till then if you have any problem please feel free to comment me and message me on facebook twitter and instagram don't forget to subscribe and like bitfumes on facebook twitter and instagram we will meet in the next episode till then enjoy level bye bye